page 11 of your handout, we look at full redemption in Christ. Now previously we had looked at Boaz redeeming Naomi and Ruth in their situation, giving them back the inheritance that was theirs and should have been theirs, but they needed that kinsman redeemer in order to retain their inheritance. Now let's look at the Christ and how full redemption is available today and all will be headed up in Christ in the future. It is Christ who has redeemed us. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 1 and we'll begin in verse 7. It says, in whom, that's in Christ, we have the full redemption by means of his blood. The Lord Jesus Christ's blood was shed. We have redemption by means of his blood, the dismissal of the falling asides, according to the wealth of his grace, of which he exceeded into us in all wisdom and thoughtfulness, having made known to us the mystery of his intention, that's God's intention, according to his good consideration, which he purposed, God purposed in Christ into the stewardship of the fullness of times to head up all things in Christ, the things on the heavens and the things on the earth in him, in Christ. Again, that term full redemption, it means liberation or the ransom away from captivity or bondage. We have been redeemed, bought back from captivity or bondage. In Christ we have that full redemption by means of the shedding of Jesus Christ's blood. The price of redemption was his blood. And we have the dismissal or the remission of the debt or punishment owed because of those falling aside. Remember Adam fell, fell from God's word? It has been passed down via the genealogy that falling aside from Adam originally. But God, but God, by means of the Lord Jesus Christ, has redeemed us. We have been redeemed. The basis, of course, for the falling aside was the fact that we did not have that Holy Spirit within us until the time that we believe what God says regarding himself and his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Adam lost that free access to Holy Spirit the Lord Jesus Christ bought it back for us. It is now available for us to have that free access to God via Holy Spirit. In Christ we have full redemption by means of Christ's blood, the dismissal of the falling asides in accordance with the wealth or the richness of God's grace, his unmerited favor which God exceeded there's that word exceeded again. It's that abundance, you know, over and above anything we already attained. Into us, us who are holy people or Christians, those who believe regarding the Lord Jesus Christ, in all or every wisdom and thoughtfulness. We have that wisdom available. You know, we can know what to do in certain specific situations and circumstances and how to apply it. Wisdom is how to apply that information that God can make available to us. And thoughtfulness, of course, is having right thoughts in our minds to know exactly what we need to do to be able to walk, that walk in alignment with God our Father. God has made known to us the mystery or the secret of his intention, his will, according to his good consideration. And God purposed that. He made the proposal that it would be within Christ and into the stewardship of or pertaining to the fullness of times. You know, time keeps moving on, as we know. Time for mankind began as soon as God put mankind outside of the Garden of Eden. Time has been progressing for mankind ever since in chronological order. 
So God purposed within Christ into the stewardship or the household administration, God's household, pertaining to the fullness of times when that fulfillment of the times pertaining to mankind after the fall would be headed up in Christ. We needed the Christ to be able to fulfill everything needed to redeem mankind from the fall of Adam. And so in the fullness of times, when everything is fulfilled, it will be headed up in Christ. That is God's plan. That's why he spoke of it back in Genesis 3.15. And those all things that will be headed up in Christ are those things that are superpositioned upon the heavens, everything referring to God's spirit realm. And the things which are present upon earth, those things referring to the powers on earth, and all will be continuing in Christ at that future time. Right now we're still in progress of time. We're looking forward to its completion, its fulfillment. All the things on the heavens and the things on the earth which are in Christ are to be headed up in him. This of course excludes those people and spirits who oppose Christ, those who are anti-Christ. 